This is the Lumiscope. It's a motorized drawing machine that moves a small ultraviolet light behind a sheet of plexiglass that's been painted with phosphorescent paint. The glowing lines it makes are much brighter and distinct than the camera can record. If you were here in person, you'd be able to see a complete circle of elliptical traces. Let's turn on the lights and see how it works. I'm not going to apologize for this looking like it was thrown together from scraps found in a garage, because it was thrown together out of scraps found in a garage. In spite of that, it works great, and if you're looking for an interesting project, you might like giving it a try. Mechanically, it's identical to the Mesmograph drawing machine, except that it's much smaller. In the back is a 12 volt DC gear motor powered by a 6 volt battery to drive the main disc at 5 RPM. A secondary wheel rides on the main disc and is rotated through a friction drive against the outer stationary ring. Now I admit, gears would work better, but this rubber tool chest liner pressing against foam rubber seems to do the job and was much easier to make. Here's what it looks like powered up. The light is a 3 millimeter ultraviolet LED powered by two AAA batteries. A piece of sheet metal on the small disc and a magnet on the back of the battery pack allows the position of the light to be adjusted which controls the patterns that are created on the phosphorescent screen which looks like this. It's a piece of 1 8 inch thick plexiglass which I have sanded the back with 400 grit sandpaper to give the phosphorescent paint something to stick to. The phosphorescent paint I used is MX24 by Glomania. I found this works really good. This one ounce bottle will cover a 10 inch by 8 inch sheet. Even though it's clear, the plexiglass blocks much of the UV needed to excite the paint, so the painted side needs to be on the same side as the light. By moving the plexiglass closer or further away from the light, you can control the thickness of the line. Though the further away it is and the thicker the line is, the fainter the line's going to be. And that's it. Right now, all it can make are spirograph type images like this, though by moving the light closer to the edge or nearer the center, the shape of the ellipsis can be changed from long and narrow to wide and flat. Now I have to admit there are two downsides to the Lumiscope. First, obviously it works best in a dark room. More seriously, because the phosphorescent paint is so bright, it glows for a long time so that if you want to tra change the trace, what you may have to do is put the plexiglass sheet into a dark room for several hours for the first trace to fade enough so that when you start the new one, the old trace doesn't make it look messy. I'm currently working on adding additional drive wheels and linkages to create more complex and interesting images, and we'll post a follow-on video as soon as those are done. Until then, I hope you'll stop by my main website, waynesthisandthat.com, for hundreds of other projects. And as always, thanks for watching.